Welcome to another episode of Africa Farming. My name as always is Samuel Baraza and I'm glad that you've joined us in this new episode. We are starting a new series called What is in my farm? And basically what is in my farm will detail some of the things that you've planted in your farm. We'll be visiting different farms just to ensure that we know what people are planting. And as the first episode kicks off, we will be starting at our farm. And who else to take us through this than our farm guy, Mr. Jackton. Sema Jackton. Now this guy is called Jackton. Gimoy. Jackton Gimoy, yeah? Yeah. Jackton Gimoy. So Jackton yes. will actually take us through what he has planted in this small farm. You might think it's a small farm, yes. but actually he's planted a lot of things here. Yeah. So Jackton, nataka ututembeze kwa hii shamba. Mwendo wa aste aste, pole pole, ukituambia ni nini hiyo umepanda. So tuanzia wapi? Tunaza anzia wapa hivi, tukitelemuka hivi. Love tuende tufike paka pale. Love tupande tukiandanga uko pele mpele. Sawa sawa kabisa. So that is what Jackson has told us. We'll start from here. Go around the small farm showing us everything that is planted. So tuanze na hapa, Jackson. Tuanze na hapa. Hapa sasa umetupandia nini? Hapa ni mapandia miwa. Mhmm. As, nataka ni jaribu hapa kama itafanya mzuri mm, uh, ni pande ni kianda na mnaipa kwa uku hivi ok yeah. so here Jackson has planted sugarcane and the reason why we think sugarcane will do well is because it's in the same family as napier grass you'll see some napier grasses that have been planted and they're doing actually quite well so we hopefully think that sugarcane will actually do well so hizi miwa ziki kwa kubwa kuna venye utatukatia Eh, hey, kuna vile wanakata pole pole. Na sasa ulipandaje? Hebu tuambie ulipanda vipi? Hii miwa nilipanda kwa kuchimba. Ulitoa wapi? Ulitoa wapi? Tuwa miwa... assume kuna mtu pale anataka kupanda. Anafanya nini ndo akuje mpaka hapa? Hii miwa unaenda kutafuta yenye wanauza. Mhm. Uh -huh. Alafu kuna kichwa yenye wanakata inabaki kidogo. Now the top part. Ah, sio kichwa ndio uh -huh. unakuja unachimba shimo. Uh -huh. Shimo mzuri hivi. Uh -huh. Unachanganya kama uko na mbolea kidogo ama uh -huh. kama una mbolea uh -huh. unaweka bora unaacha chazi yenye unaanza kuweka maji hapo ikisimama ikiteremka pole pole. Now I have a question. Yes. <coughs> kuna naona hapa kuna manyasi umekelea kelea juu. Hii manyasi yenye nimekelea kelea juu hivi ni uh -huh. Kushika jua isienda sana yu maji itembea pole pole. Ok. Yeah. Aya, nikona swali nyingine. Mbona mm -hmm. hizi ya zijapandwa kama, kama, kama maindi, kama, kama mandizi? Mbona zinapandwa kama zimeinama? Sasa hii lazima upande kama inainama. Mm. Sababu ikishuti, mm. inatokianga na huko ikikuja saizi za hapa hivi. Uh -huh. Inakuja inatolea kama hapa, lafu inatolea hapa hivi kipanda, ikikuja. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like when you plant like this, what he's actually telling us is that you have to plant it while it's planted because it shoots from the other side yes. and this other side. What he's actually telling us is that sugarcane is invasive. So if you plant like this, it will actually start, you know, shooting from the other side. So it's very invasive. Eh? Yes. Uh -huh. So in it was mulching. We'll be talking about what is done here. Jackson, yes. kufunika inaitwa mulching. Okay. Najua watu wa kitambo wako wanajua kitu inafanyika lakini ilikuwa inafanyika. Ilikuwa inafanyika. Eh yeah, so kwa saa hii wanaitanga mulching. Okay. We'll be talking about mulching in the days to come. So twende kwa next. So hapo umepanda miwa ngapi tano? Hapa nimepanda miwa tano. Na zote zimeshika eh? Zote zimeshika mzuri. Kabisa yeah. kabisa. Yeah. So tutoke hapa eh twende na nini inahitajika ndio zikuwe kubwa? Hivi tu ni kuhitajika tu kutengeneza mzuri, uh -huh. ukipea maji, uh -huh. ukipea ka usafi kidogo vile itatoka hivi naenda na usafi. Na mbolea? Mbolea hapana. Hiyo mbolea kwanza umepatia ni hivyo? Ni hivyo tu. Okay. Yeah. Na uliweka mbolea gani? Ilikuwa ya kienyeji ya kuku. Ile ya kuku? Yeah. Ah. So he's actually used farmyard manure for this. Uh, of course specifically from chicken and it was awesome. So let's go to the next thing. Tunatupeleka wapi next? Next na wapeleka kwa malenge hapo hivyo. Malenge utaki kutupishia yeah. maindi. Maindi tulishaona. Maindi tulishaona. Haya. <laughs> <laughs> so he's also planted some uh, some hybrid uh, maize here. Is it actually inachukua miezi ngapi kukua hii maindi? Hii maindi inachukua miezi 3. Iko na miezi ngapi sasa? Iko iko na mwezi mmoja. So this one month also we are waiting for two months then we'll be reaping unakulanga hizi sio eh tunakula mhm na nafanya mnakuwa na immunity sisi tuko na homa nyinyi hamna ah sisi hatuna homa sisi tuko hoa tu kwa sababu tunakula hii matawi tome yeah yeah what is saying you can use these as vegetables you see the way you always supplement your food with vegetables like sukuma wiki kunde 
you can use the pumpkin leaves as vegetables and they are sweet so mlipanda tu hapa na malenge yenyewe iko wapi malenge yenyewe ndio ijatoa bado ijatoa ni sababu tunachuna matawi lakini tukipochuna matawi malenge inakuwa Oh so usipochuna matawi malenge ukichuna matawi malenge ikuiki haikuiki oh sababu sasa hiyo una umeikuza kama ilikuwa imetoka for example mm. kama mahali hapa imetoka hivi mm. ukienda ukuza hapo na mna hii mm. inakuwa haitaka kuguzwa acha mchezo yeah. so jackton hapa yeah. naona kuna kitu kingine pia umepanda ndio hapa nimepanda vitu hapa hivi mhm mm what is ni nini in viazi bonwaru hapa ni irish potatoes kabisa kabisa so tuambie irish potatoes ulipanda aje na ulitoa wapi hii nilitoa mm. kwa soko mhm mm nikakuja ulitoa nini kwa soko mbegu ama ni nini ulitoa ni, ni viazi tu mimi nilinunua tu viazi viazi yenyewe tu eh yeah, viazi aha, viazi aha, aha. sasa nikakuja mm -hmm. nikaweka kamtaro kamtaro so one thing that we've learned here is when you are in a dry area or semi arid area and you don't have drip what you do is you you dig trenches so that at least it can conserve the water eh eh endelea sasa hapa ukiweka mtaro hivi inashika maji so hii ulipanda na mbolea eh hii nimepanda na mbolea na inachukua muda gani hii inachukua tena miezi tatu miezi tatu miezi tatu ah hakuna kupita ni miezi miezi tatu na unakula viazi zako kabisa ah perfect perfect yeah. perfect na naona hii area uko na cassava kwa area niko na cassava eh na hii ulikuja hii ilikuja hii ilikuja kutoka western eh western hii imetoka pia western kama sweet potatoes kama sweet potatoes eh so ni nini ilikuja mti tu ni mti mhm mm ilikuja tu mti nikakata ndani mara nne mm. So for those people who've never seen cassava on the ground this is cassava yes this is the only thing that was planted ni kitu sio ndio yeah hii ndio ilipandwa hii yeah, the yeah, stick yeah, yeah. but you can see i came here like a week ago ilikuwa tu imiti peke yake eh imiti within a week we can see all these it has already is it called leafing yeah. isha toa isha toa matawi the leaves so hii na kama hizi ngapi oh it was like this one yes it was like this one here yes na hii imekufa ama hapana haijakufa hii nimepanda tu juzi eh juu macho yake ilikuwa imeadipika dipika ah. sasa ni itatoka okay mm. so hii ina take inachukua muda gani kukoma mm hii ukitaka mzuri nafaa imalize mwaka mmoja mwaka mwaka na cassava inakuanga ndani ama nje ndani ikawa sweet potato yeah ah nice yes. nice nice that is very nice so hiyo ndio umepanda pia huku ah, ama huku ni waru yeah yeah so whatever is planted here the, the irish potatoes are also planted on these other trenches that you can see. So what you do utaeka mulch, utaeka manyasi juu ama? Hapana. Unaacha tu hivyo. Nitaacha tu hivyo sababu utakuwa unamwagilia. Ikifika mahali nitarudisha mchanga tu kidogo. So hii wezi eka nyasi. Hapana. Okay. Yeah. Sawa sawa, tupeleke unatupeleka wapi tena? So tuambie hapa haraka haraka hapa kuna nini? Hapa kuna nananazi hapa. Mhm. Mm pineapples. We have pineapples that are growing here. Yes. Na pia hizi zilifanywa kama avocado. Kama avocado. Eh tulizichukua ile nini yake ya juu, mbegu ya juu. Eh ile ukikuwa na nanasi, yeah. pineapple unakata hiyo ya juu. Yeah. The top part. Yeah. Alafu na tuli hii sasa tuliweka kwa maji. Mm. Atukweka kwa mchanga. Mm. Tuliweka kwa maji ikatoa hizo hizo eh, mizizi. mizizi. Yeah. Sasa tukaweka kwa mchanga. Kwa mchanga. So kwa sababu ukiweka kwa mchanga ilikuwa inakufa. Yeah. So mara ya kwanza unaweka kwanza kwa kwa, ma kwa maji. Kwa maji yeah. inatoa mizizi then sasa una transplant kwa tube yeah unaweka kwa mchanga ile mchanga soft ndo unaleta sub mm -hmm. yeah, so we have pineapples here this guy has planted healthy things here naona mandizi hapa lakini kuna time uliniambia ni mandizi hapa mandizi kuna ile ya ku ripe na kuna ile ya kupika yeah. so nataka unieleze vizuri utajuaje hii ni ya kupika na hii ni ya kuivisha sasa unajua kutoka kwa ukipata mbegu mhm mm mbegu ndio inakuonyesha hii ni ya kuiva ya kuivisha ama hii ni ya kupika. Sasa mbegu unajuaje kwa mbegu? Mbegu naona sababu unaenda kununua, mm. unanunua ndizi. Mm. Unaona yenyewe inakuonyesha hii ni sweet potato, sweet potato na hii ni ya kupika. So sasa hivi yenyewe hivi unaweza jua? Sasa hivi ile iko hivi. Mm. Kama ni mimi mm. naweza jua vile inakaa. Unajuaje wewe sasa kama ni? Unajua kuangalia kwa nini? kwa muti yenyewe. Mm -hmm. yeah, iko tofauti na ingine. So ni nini unaona unajua ni ya kuivisha na ni ya, 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 ya kupika? Kwa yani kwa macho yangu ama kwa akili kwa macho yako. Kwa macho yangu kitu yenye nafanya nione hii ni ndizi ya kupika. Mm. 
Ninaonea kwa matawi uh -huh. na kwa muti yenyewe. So matawi iko aje? Mimi nataka uniambie different. Matawi yake inakuja kama yellow yellow na mna hii kidogo. Yellow yellow, yellow ni gani? Ya kuivisha. Eh yeah, ya kuivisha kama hii. So ile pia ni ya kuivisha. Yeah, ile ya kuivisha. Ya kuivisha pia ile. Alafu, Alafu ya hii ni ya kupika. Hii ndio ya kupika. Ah, iko okay. tofauti. So yeah. unaona iko tofauti. Hii ni green eh. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Sawa 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 sawa. So Jackson? Yes. Nimeona hapa eh hii passion fruit imekuwa kubwa bwana. Eh hey, imekuwa kubwa inakuja polepole. Pole. Eh uh -huh. na hii ulipanda wen? Hii ni imemaliza hapa sasa miezi sita. Miezi sita? Kabisa. Na hii ni passion fruit ya kukaa miezi ngapi ndio uanze kukula? Sasa hapo ndio sijajua mzuri mm. sababu sasa ni kitu ya kutest test. Ulitoa wapi? Hii nilienda kununua town. Ah okay. Nili Nunua machungu, mm. nikakuja, nikakula kidogo ingina, nikapanda. Machungu ama passion? Passion, passion. Yeah. yeah. So ulipanda ikuwa mbegu? Eh, yeah, ilikuwa mbegu. Na ikamea? Ikamea. Oh, okay. Kuna kitu unafanyia mbegu ndo imea ama unapanda tu hivyo? Unapanda tu. Eh. Yeah. Unapanda tu. Okay. Yeah. Alafu hapa naona kuna kitu. Ini hapa ni? hii kitu hii, mm. hii ni watermelon. Watermelon? Hii ni watermelon hii. Uh -huh. Umepanda watermelon na machungwa pamoja? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> so ulipandaje hii watermelon? Ni, ni mbegu? Hii watermelon ni mbegu. Mbegu ya watermelon tu ulieka? Eh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hii ni mbegu ya watermelon ni tu. Nilichukua nikaweka chini. Mhm. Uh -huh. Nikaweka mchanga. Okay, na hiyo machungwa? Hii machungwa nilichukua mbegu kwanza nikaweka nursery. Mhm. Uh -huh. Ndio ikamea nikakuja nikaweka hapo. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Na tutangoja zikuwe zikuwe tu kubwa poa. Kwa yeah, kubwa mzuri. Male hii eh. ndio sisi tunachukua cha muda gani? Mm. Lakini inachukua tu miaka nini miezi 3 tena. Nini watermelon? Watermelon. Miezi 3 tutakuwa na kula watermelon. Miezi miezi 3 tunakula. Ah, tutarudi hapa baada ya miezi 3 tukule watermelon. Tutakula. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Ah, that is nice. Is At least tumeona shamba yako hata kaa ni ndogo. Eh. Yeah. na vitu mingi. Eh, yeah, tutaongeza, tutaongeza. Ah, sasa nangoja sasa tukilima hiyo eka moja nini? Eh, yeah, tukilima tu yeah. tutaongeza. Sawa, sawa. Yeah. So guys, that's it for us in this first episode of What is in your farm? We've started with Jackton's small farm here in Kajado Losuyen. Out of 10 acres, I think he's planted. This is like a point. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you can see he's planted a lot of things. Number one, there is sugar cane there. We've seen sweet potatoes, maize. Uh, sorry for the whatever. There is maize that take only three months to get ready. We have uh, pumpkin leaves that you can use as vegetables. And also you can wait for the actual pumpkin itself which is also a vegetable and then we have napier grass but there is napier grass there for for the sheep and goats we have bananas and he's actually even told us how to differentiate between that which you can leave to get ripe or you can ripen and that which you have to cook you just look at the leaves the one that is yellow that one is for ripe, ripening and the one that is green that will be and then we've actually seen uh, pineapples and we've ended up with passion fruit here and watermelon and an orange. Come on, imagine this is just a small farm with all these things and you've been eating from here. Perfect, man. Do you have a farm wherever it is that you are, however small? Kindly, link with us on our social media handles at Africa Farming K on TikTok, X and Instagram or Africa Farming on Facebook and also on YouTube. Let us know where you are, we'll be able to come and you know, pay your farm a visit, see what is on your farm and how you actually made that a reality. And until next time, I'm going to say, Changamukano Gulima. Changamukano Gulima.